Good afternoon, world. This guy's happy. Heading down here to go for a riverside walk. Apparently this place used to be like a drain. It just ran through the city, but then one of the governors made it into a beautiful walkway. There's a sweet duck down there, Story. Can you see? Yeah, and look, Story, it just started snowing. Look, it's snowing all around you, Story, look. The snow is falling. I think I caught one. Did you? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's still a bit of snow. It's melted. <laughs> Doesn't take long to melt, does it? Wow, this is what we've been waiting for. <laughs> snow in salt. I did actually see the snow falling earlier, but Story was playing and she didn't get a chance to see it falling. And now it's falling all around us and Story is surrounded by it. This is the dream. This is what you come to a winter destination for to see the snow falling on us. It is beautiful. <laughs> I'm wearing Tori's hat. <laughs> this made me happy. We've got a long walk ahead. We're going to oh be walking. Oh my goodness, your hair. Is my hair gone all snowy? Yeah. We get to walk in the snow. Yeah. yeah. Now that it's starting to get really cold, there's an additional purpose for a face mask and that is to keep your face warm. When you put it up and over your nose, it does actually help a lot, <laughs> especially with the snowfall. This is beautiful. So beautiful. Da, 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 da. We made it. Is there fish or are there leaves? Oh yeah, there is loads of fish down there. Story is a fish hunter. Oh, is that a fish? No, I think that's seaweed story. Is it? Oh, yeah, they're just walk, they're swimming against the, the current, aren't they? Interesting. Wow. So you can see, despite the heavy snowfall, which is settling on my hair, it doesn't really settle on the ground. It feels a little bit wet when it lands on you. And I was reading earlier, there's like two different types of snow. One that's really good for like snow sports, the powdery type, but it needs to be a bit colder for that. But if it keeps snowing like this all night, tomorrow is meant to be super cold. So it might have a nice snow day, might even be able to build a snowman. Right now, I don't think there's any chance of building a snowman, is there? Not like it's this. Too wet. Yeah. So you finally got your snow story. Yeah. Was it as cold as you thought it was going to be? It says it isn't as cold as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Actually, so cold it's snowier than I thought. I've seen some pictures of this place in different seasons, and it can get quite beautiful down here with the different coloured trees, especially autumn and spring. Now, obviously, we're here in the winter, and we've got the snow. It is impressive to think that something that would have been a waste pit before is now a tourist attraction and also means of transport. It's really well paved and we can take this river for almost I think 10 kilometers across the city. You don't have to worry about bicycles or cars, motorbikes. You're not even allowed to bring pets down here which would have been good for dog owners but you know no it says no pets on the sign. It's like the perfect dog walking track. Yeah, maybe they don't trust people to pick up the poo. Oh, uh, maybe. It's just a people's walk. And Daddy, mm -hmm. if, if dogs were allowed, Poppy, our dog, yeah. it would be allowed because, and it would be fun because Poppy would do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poppy would enjoy the snow, just like you are. This huge bird just came flying down the canal, landed right next to us here. Beautiful. I don't know what they're called, these ones. Whee! Such big wings! So the plan is to endure this snowy walk and then go for some hot mushroom soup. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Yeah. Does that sound like a good plan? Yeah, I just want to warm my tummy up because my tummy is like frozen to my ice block. <laughs> so he's got a tummy like an ice block. We've cleared over half of the walk already. We have been walking pretty swiftly. Yeah, we found a really nice Korean vegan restaurant at the end of this walk. So I don't think it opens for another half an hour. So by the time we get there and we've actually found it, it should be almost opening time. Yeah. If not, there'll be a cafe, a cafe? Cafe. A coffee, <laughs> coffee, cafe shop somewhere that we can just wait in. 
but we are looking forward to it. It's meant to be quite authentic Korean food, but it's all vegan. The and building looks really authentic yeah, as well. Yeah, so it will be a nice reward at the end of this snowy journey. <laughs> Doing a bit of running to warm up, get some of the journey done. <laughs> You're going back on yourself. Yeah. You want to make some footprints in the snow. The snow only settles on the grass or on the mud. No, it's mud. Up to this point, we've only really seen the modern side of Seoul. We haven't seen all of the ancient, historical and cultural preserved buildings, which we plan to do tomorrow. We were hoping for the snow to have fallen on those buildings. We'll see. It tells you how many calories you burn when you walk along this way, but because we're, maybe we're walking the other direction, because yeah. it said 80 calories, so we've got <laughs> 50 calories now. We're going downwards. We did eat some sesame sticks there, so maybe it knows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're right there, the start of the walk is actually that side, so we are going backwards okay. on it. So by the time we come out, we'd have burned about 100 calories walking. Yeah, that's the way to <laughs> judge it. Everything we've experienced here in Seoul so far, we've basically decided that this is a city we could definitely return to. Different seasons will bring like different benefits, that's for sure. I'm happy to know that living in the Philippines in such a hot country we can have this winter escape and do maybe a skiing trip and I don't know it just it makes the whole living in the Philippines thing more appealing because we can now have this balance if we desire to be cold again it's just a quick trip it didn't take long to get here at all we are now exiting this canal so many beautiful massive glass buildings above us and we're going to head to a place called Insadong Street, which is like a more of an ancient road. Emerging onto the streets of Seoul. We've just arrived to a road next to Insadong Street and we found this traditional souvenir centre that Sasha wants to look inside. So we're going to go and have a look. Looking for some things to buy? Yeah. It's nice and warm in here, isn't it? Beautiful lamps. So I think this is the main bit of the very well-known Intadong shopping street. They actually block it off on Sundays to cars so only people can walk up and down here. It becomes a bit more of a walking street and everything they sell here is like Korean brands and Korean yeah, made stuff. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Look at those really beautiful fans over there. Hanbok Studio. You can rent the traditional Korean clothes and have your pictures taken or you can actually go walking up and down the streets with it. So if you find like an ancient village styled area, you can wear the clothes and look the part. It's like the design museum we went to. Beautiful, isn't it? You're really impressed with these things, aren't you? Yeah. There's lots of cute ceramic art. What is that? I think it's the rest of chopsticks on. This is a really pretty shopping street. Much nicer than the Myeongdong we went to the other day. These beautiful buildings. Very, very cool. And the restaurant is just over there, I think. I think that's one of the buildings that we're going into right now. This is it. That's what we've been looking for. Let's go and have a look. It's in there. God, it's really hidden away, isn't it? Secret little gem. Last order, 8 p.m. Plenty of time. He's coming without taking off his shoes. This is much more modern than I expected. Everything here is vegan. It says fried chicken, but it is. It's vegan, yeah. All vegan stuff. So, you want. Story wants a mushroom soup. She's been thinking about that for a while. And this is what the inside of the restaurant looks like. 
everything has just arrived what we ordered I'm not sure what everything is but it all looks fantastic <laughs> all right there's a big bowl of mushroom soup here so a story we've got some dumplings we've got that i think that's my spicy tofu spicy tofu stew yes. this is what jay ordered this we're just gonna have to dig into everything and try it all these were the mushroom rolls there's some kimchi over here and all these little side dishes looks really good do you think we can eat everything on this table yes <laughs> okay go for the taste of kimchi it's not as spicy as I thought it would be. It's nice. Actually, it's got more juice than the kimchi's I've ever had before. Like the cabbage is really wet mm -hmm. in a nice way. Mm, okay. So I've got spicy tofu stew. You can see loads of tofu in there. It is actually quite spicy. And these are mushroom rolls. But again, they've got a bit of a kick to them as well. Mm. So the story is having a dumpling which is nearly finished <laughs> my goodness i'm absolutely stuffed we did finish all the food didn't we sash apart from stories mushroom soup everything got eaten pretty much completely down to the bone yeah. plate <laughs> <laughs> we were hungry yes it was nice nice authentic the dumplings were the winner though the dumplings were amazing yeah i feel like we ordered <laughs> I think story ate four. Yeah. <laughs> Just for herself. <laughs> I think we ordered too much tofu because it got a bit samey through yeah, the meal. Yeah, me and Jay swapped meals halfway through because I was a bit fed up of the tofu soup. Yeah. <laughs> but everything was good though. It was, yeah. I really enjoyed the authentic kimchi, but we've all agreed that we've got space for dessert, yes, haven't we? if we can find somewhere. Yes. This is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find somewhere with a vegan dessert. It's a bit of a maze down these streets. It's cool walking down this road in the night. Love these buildings. <laughs> so very different from where we live. I just bought a hat and I got to tell you a hat too. Oh, <laughs> nice warm heads now. <laughs> Story has her hat back. <laughs> Earmuffs, hat and scarf for Story. And she's found some snow. Perfect. <laughs> Look, people. Yeah. Some caricatures. It's like cartoon this is a really nice area, isn't it? Yeah, I prefer this shopping area this, to the one we went to yesterday. There's some really lovely shops around here. Very like traditional local tea shops and handmade goods. It's really, really nice. <sighs> Alright, <laughs> we were going to find dessert, but the dessert shop is closed so we are going to head back to our little apartment now hope you've enjoyed this video and enjoyed spending the day with us and yeah we'll see you tomorrow for the next video bye, bye.